So this question is a diagram question. I say that because the question provides information in the form of a visual, this visual being a graph in this case. So the information provided up here, which we would have seen for question 21, this information basically just describes what we can see in the graph, which is that our x-axis here is number of years since 1985 that our y-axis here is amount of plastic in billions of pounds, that we're discussing U.S. production of plastic over those years. And the most important thing is that this line of best fit that connects these points, right, this line of best fit right here, has an equation that is y equals 3.39x plus 46.89. So question 22 asks, which of the following is closest to the percent increase, okay, so percent increase, in the billions of pounds of plastic produced in the United States from 2000, or 2000 to 2003? So if I'm going to find the percent increase between these two years, I need to know, well, how many billions of pounds of plastic were produced in 2000 how many billions of pounds of plastic were produced in 2003, and I can calculate the percent increase between those two numbers. So let's calculate this. So 2000, the year 2000, would be 15 years since 1985, right? 1985 plus 15 gives us, you know, the year 2000. So the year, so 15 years is here, right? Right between 14 and 16. We track that up to our value here, which is really pretty much on the line of best fit, but maybe a little slightly higher. I'm going to say it's at the junction here of 15 and 100. So we say, okay, in the year 2000, there were 100 billion pounds. So 100, I'll just say B, 100 billion. The year 2003 would be three years later. So that would be... You know, if this is 15, then we want to be up to 18, which is here. So three years past year 15 is year 18. And then we go up and do the same exact thing. This is not as easy to determine because it's a little bit higher than 100. We don't know exactly where that is. It looks like it's about halfway up, maybe slightly less than halfway up. Um, but I'm going to say halfway and just say 110 billion. If I'm off, I mean, it, it's definitely not higher than halfway. Maybe it's 109, 108. But I think the answer choices will help us to figure that out and be certain about our correct answer. So what is the percent increase from 100 to 110? Well, this math is pretty simple because you can see, well, all, I, all we did was add 10, right? And 10 is 10% 10 of 100. So we must have had a 10% um, increase. But the traditional way to do this, in case you ever see percent increase on any other question that may not be so simple, is you just divide the final number, so 110, by the original number, so the 100, and then you put that in your calculator. Of course, the math's not difficult here, but just to show you, 110 divided by 100, that's equal to 1.1. And then we look at, well, okay, this is really like 1 plus 0 0.1. The 1 represents 100%. The 0 0.1 represents 10%. So this is the increase above, right, the 100% that you started off with, right? So you captured all of what you had, but then you increased it by this part over here. So in this case, being 10%. So for us, that 10% leads us to answer choice A. There really isn't anything remotely close to it, right? This choice D may be a bit confusing because it says 110%, but that's, you know, the year 2003's number is 110% of, you know, it's 10% it's higher than 2000, right? And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the percent increase, not the overall percentage. So D, while it is tempting, is not correct. And then B and C are just definitely not correct. So again, we're looking for uh, percent increase. 10% is the amount of increase between those two years.